Uh, good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to um, Board Commissioners meeting for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Uh, we'll start with uh, introductions. We'll start in the room. I'm uh, Pat Malone, Commissioner. Good morning and Happy New Year. Zano, Juro Commissioner. Nancy Wise, Commissioner. Vance Crony, County Council. Good morning, Rick Krieger, Chief Financial Officer. Eric Milo, board recorder. Uh, is there anybody uh, joining us uh, online? Rachel McEnany. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's a deal. Uh, I know the sheriff <clears throat> um, texted that he was not, uh, he had another appointment this morning, so he's usually with us, but not this morning. Anybody else on online? My name is Debbie Palmer. I'm a North Benton County resident. And just introducing myself because I never know if you if your desire is to have people who are not otherwise participating or commenting at the meeting to introduce themselves, but I decided to err on the side of introducing myself. So I'm here just to listen. Great, thank you. All right. Uh, are there... Ken, Ken Eklund is here. Uh, oh, okay. uh, North Benton County resident and chair of the Disposal Site Advisory Committee. Uh, Yes. Good morning. Uh, anyone else? Uh, all right, uh, we'll move to uh, announcements. Are there any uh, announcements this morning? Hearing none, we'll move on to item number two, election of the 2024 board chair and vice chair. Do I hear any nomination? I move to nominate Zan Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise as vice chair. Second. All in, <clears throat> excuse me. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, next item of business is comments from the public. Is there anyone who wishes to make public comment today? Okay, hearing none. I see Ken Eklund's hand is up on the oh. chat in online. Okay, uh, Ken, uh, welcome. And you have the usual three minute um, time clock. Certainly, uh, so thank you. Um, good morning, commissioners. Um, I'm Ken Eklund, resident of North Minton County and chair of your disposal site advisory committee. I wanted to show you something commissioners. So I'm going to Share my screen. Uh, which always makes me a little tense. I, I think that is uh, correct. So I, what I'm showing you here is this is the draft community concerns annual report for 2021. Um, as required by state law, it pulls together the concerns about Coffin Butte landfill expressed by the community in 2021. I'm not sure if you can read that, um, but on this sh on this sheet, uh, there are other concerns expressed from January to August 25th of that year. And then on this sheet are the concerns expressed uh, in the August 25th meeting of the Solid Waste Advisory Council. You know, on this sheet, um, there are the concerns uh, these are the comments expressed from August 26th through October 13th of that year, and so on through the end of the year. Um, uh, the Disposal Site Advisory Committee can review and finalize this uh, as soon as you unsuspend the committee. Here, let me stop sharing. Uh, I know Director Nichols told you that the committee was holding up this report. I am very glad to show you that is not true. 
The truth is, ever since Daniel Reddick asked me to take over drafting this report back in September, neither he nor Director Nichols have ever once checked in to see how it was going. So it was surprising in a way to hear Director Nichols state so definitively um, back in November what its status was. Of course, in another way, it's not surprising at all. So there's a word, word I feel we should look at here. That word is mudslinging. Here's the Oxford Dictionary definition of mudslinging. The use of insults and accusations, especially unjust ones, with the aim of damaging the reputation of an opponent. They use it in a sentence. Politicians seem to rely on mudslinging instead of argument. And they give synonyms, uh, misrepresentation, disparagement, libel, defamation, and smear. The allegations that Darren Nichols, the director of your community development department, made about the disposal site advisory committee back in late November seem to be a textbook example of mudslinging. Based on the testimonies you have heard so far from other committee members, I am not alone in this assessment. I support the testimonies that you have received from Joel Geyer, Mark Yeager, and Marge Pop. Commissioner Ogero, I think you said something then about reactions to what Ms. Mr. Nichols alleged being water under the bridge at this point. If so, I'm pushing up back, I'm pushing back against that characteriz characterization very hard. We're not dealing with water here, we're dealing with mud. As we all know, living in Oregon, once someone tracks mud in, mud gets all over everything. This mud is on you commissioners at this point, I'm afraid. It's on the county council. Mud slung around like that doesn't just slide away downstream in the river of time. It sticks around. It has to be cleaned up. And since I've showed you that the mud in this case includes erroneous factual information, the state of the community concerns annual report, something you have said is of prime concern to you, I think you should face the likelihood that everything that's been told you about the Disposal Site Advisory Committee is similarly erroneous. I feel that has to be acknowledged going forward. That being said, I look forward to being a part of a positive, productive future on your Disposal Site Advisory Committee when it resumes. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Um, and just FYI, um, you took about four minutes, so um, we're, I, I don't want to be hard and fast about that three-minute time limit always, but uh, just for your information. Um, we hear your comments. Um, we will move forward. As you know, uh, we are hiring for the position of solid waste coordinator, um, and we will pick up the committee when we can, when we have the staff capacity to move forward. Uh, we recognize the tense and, and, and fractious nature of, of the relationship, and we have every intention of healing that rift to the best of our ability. So thank you. Anyone else in terms of comments from the public? Okay, we'll move on to the consent calendar, uh, which uh, contains the meeting schedule for 2024 Board of Commissioners and designation of the official newspaper for us and for the Board of Health and the Contract Review Board. Uh, I'll move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, signify with an aye. 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 Thank you very much. Um, moving on to old business. The second reading and adoption of ordinance 2023 is 0-0322, amending Benton County Code Chapter 9. Uh, Tommy Douglas and Vance uh, Crony. So while well, Tommy's... Uh, oh, look at how quickly she did that. She's going to have to... Um, Pretty straightforward. We had the public hearing, which we continued um, two weeks ago. You uh, conducted the first reading of the ordinance that uh, changes uh, Chapter 9. And I think we're at the end of this journey, but I'll pass it over to Tommy to make sure that I, I haven't veered off into uncharted territory. You're, you're not the veerer usually, Vance. So, uh, no, I think we're in good shape. It's um, identical to what we discussed at the last meeting, except for the addition of the word only, which we had a discussion about at the last meeting. So I think we are ready to move forward if you all feel ready to move forward. Excited to 
to put this one to bed and move on to new problems and new challenges. Okay. Um, do we need a formal motion to uh, go ahead with the second reading or just? Uh, you do. There needs to be a motion to um, conduct the second reading of ordinance number 2023-0322. So moved. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 All right. For the Board of Commissioners for the State of Oregon, for the County of Benton, in the matter of amending Benton County Code Chapter 9, Ordinance Number 2023-0322. Now, therefore, the Benton County Board of Commissioners ordains as follows. Short title, this ordinance shall be known as Amendment to Benton County Code Chapter 9. And as is usual with all of the ordinances, the code change becomes effective 30 days from today, which would be February 1st. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you all. Next up, we have new business. Um, first off, in the matter of a resolution in support of due process continu continuity of care act, resolution number 2024-001. Uh, um, this is a matter that um, came up in my membership in the National Association of Counties um, Criminal Justice Committee. Uh, and it, it is an issue that has been one that has been of concern to counties around the country for many years. And that is that uh, there is a policy at the federal government level, uh, Medicaid inmate exclusion policy. And what that policy does under section 1905AA of the Social Security Act is that it means that um, adults in custody um, lose their Medicare or Medicaid immediately when uh, they have been, uh, they are jailed, even if they have not been convicted. Um, that puts an incredibly heavy, heavy burden on local jails. Um, and it also, um, in terms of cost burden for medical care, but it also puts a heavy burden on those individuals and it's an incredible disruption in any kind of medical care they may be receiving, whether for mental health issues, physical health issues, you name it. Uh, but then once they get out of jail again, they have to go through the whole process of once again, obtaining coverage. So uh, there are a couple of bills pending in Congress to address this issue. They've been introduced year over year over year. NACO is a strong proponent of passing them to help support um, better outcomes for adults in custody. And this is, uh, I've drafted a letter based on the NACO draft uh, to our uh, delegation uh, to ask them to please endorse, uh, sign on as um, supporters of this legislation in the House and the Senate. Um, any questions? Is there a motion? I'll move uh, in, in the matter of resolution in supporting of the Due Process Continuity of Care Act resolution number 2024-001. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Thank you. And um, work with staff to make sure that it gets to the appropriate people. Um, next matter uh, is um, in the matter of appointing a Benton County Commissioner to a county not otherwise represented seat on the Association of Oregon County's 2024 Legislative Committee. We had um, AOC staff reach out to us over the holiday uh, to state that because we didn't have any other kind of a seat on the Ledge Committee that we had, were able to uh, request this seat um, and I wanted to know who of, of the three of us would like to represent uh, Benton County on the Legislative Committee so that we could go ahead and make that response to um, AOC. Are you interested in doing so, Commissioner Ogero? I have, uh, I've been on the Legislative Committee five out of the seven, six out of the seven years I've been in office, and I do not feel a need to be on the legislative committee this term. Well, I, are you interested, Commissioner Malone? Uh, I have been on the legislative committee before. And, uh, 
be interested in resuming that role. That sounds good because I feel like I don't have any uh, additional time in my schedule. So I would move that we nominate Commissioner Malone for that position. I'll second it. Call in favor, please indicate with an aye. 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 Okay. That's settled and we can uh, get back to our AOC colleagues um, about that um, selection. Um, the, we are now down to other, and the only other item that had come up over the break that I recall was uh, the question of sponsorship of Celebrate Corvallis. And I don't think we need to take an affirmative vote on that. It's um, that sum of uh, money is in the budget already and designated for that purpose. But I just wanted to let you know that um, that was indeed the case. And, and that's to uh, buy a table. Yes. For the March event. Sponsorship. Yep. Like they've mm -hmm. done for years. Right? Yep. I support that. Okay. Is there any other business before the board? Hearing none, the Board of Commissioners meeting for January 2nd, 2024 is adjourned and we will move on into our district meetings. All right, I'll start us off by uh, um, opening uh, Benton County 911 Emergency Communication Services County Service District Governing Board meeting. And um, so I will call for nominations of the 2024 chair and vice chair to uh, uh, in, conduct the vote. I think technically we have comments from the public first, but if there aren't any public comments, I'm happy to make that motion. What's been moved? Uh, I move to nominate uh, Commissioner Malone, or excuse me, Commissioner Ogero as chair and myself, Nancy Wise, as vice chair. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item is the consent calendar, um, setting the um, meeting schedule for the county service district and designating the official newspaper for the 911 emergency communications county service district. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor signify with an aye. 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 Is there any other business before the 911 emergency communications district? Hearing none, uh, the meeting is adjourned. All right. Um, I will call the Alpine County Service District Governing Board um, meeting to order. Uh, and I'll call for nominations um, for chair and uh, vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and myself, Nancy Wise, as vice chair. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Next item of business is the consent calendar. Um, do I hear a motion to approve the consent calendar? Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Uh, um, com uh, Commissioner Ozer, I just might um, ask to suggest that after the nomination and, and passing of the baton to you as the chair, you call for if there's any public comments that okay. is on our agenda for each of these uh, special. Sure. I'll do that. Service. Okay. Is are there any public comments for the Alpine County Service District? Hearing none, is there any other business before the Alpine County Service District? Meeting adjourned. All right, I will call the LC County Service District Governing Board meeting to order. Uh, as for nominations for the 
2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any comments from the public about the Alsea County Service District um, Governing Board? Hearing none, the next item of business is the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. Aye. Is there any other business before the LC County Service District? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. All right, I will call the LC Human Services County Service District Governing um, Board meeting to order. Uh, I'll call for nominations for the 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and myself, Nancy Wise, as vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any public comments uh, with respect to the LC Human Services County Service District? Hearing none, the next item of business is the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Is there any other business before the LC Human Services County Service District? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. I will call the Cascade View County Service District Governing Board meeting to order. Uh, I'll call for nominations for the 2024 chair and vice chair. Move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any comments from the public for the Cascade View County Service District? Hearing none, the next item of business is the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. Um, all in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Any other business before the Cascade View County Service District? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. I will call the uh, uh, Benton County Agricultural Extension Services County Service District Governing Board meeting to order and uh, call for nominations for the 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any comments from the public about the Extension Services County Service District? Hearing none, the next item of business is the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Any other business before the Extension Services um, Governing Board? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. Next up, I will call the Hidden Valley Domestic Water Supply County Service District Governing Board meeting to order. And I'll call for nominations for the 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any public comments uh, with respect to the business of the Hidden Valley County Service District? Hearing none, uh, we'll move on to the consent calendar. I move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Thank you. Any other business before the Hidden Valley County Service District? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. All right. Uh, I will call the County Service District Governing Board for Library Services meeting to order, and I'll call for nominations of the 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Nancy Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any comments from the public with respect to the library services district? Hearing none, um, we'll move to the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 
Is there any other business before the board? Okay, with that, I will uh, adjourn the meeting of the Library Services County Service District. And I will call the North Albany County Service District Governing Board meeting to order, and I'll call for nominations for the 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ojero for chair and Commissioner Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Are there any comments from the public with respect to the North Albany County Service District? Hearing none, um, item three is the consent calendar. Move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Is there any other business before the North Albany County Service District? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned. I will uh, call the South Third County Service District Governing Board meeting to order, and I'll call for nominations for the 24. 2024 chair and vice chair. I move to nominate Commissioner Ogero as chair and Commissioner Wise for vice chair. Second. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Okay, are there any comments from the public with respect to the South Third County Service District? Hearing none, um, we'll move to the consent calendar. I move to approve the consent calendar. Second. All in favor, please signify with an aye. 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 Thank you. Any other business before the South Third County Service District? If not, the meeting is adjourned. And with that, we are finished with our business for this morning. Thank you.